Week six with the Cleveland Browns. Um, after a very disappointing loss to the Tennessee Titans, we're back playing a divisional opponent, and I don't quite know what else to do. Baker Mayfield has not played well, um, not even close, um, but my offensive line, who I don't think, I think they're playing really, really bad right now, and my wide receivers are not doing it. Like, I'm not going to pay a Jarvis Landry or a Corey Coleman or a David Njoku if they can't hold on to the ball. It's not going to happen. You will be absolutely useless to me. I might as well just I might as well just play the the worst receivers out there because I'm going to get the same stuff. And if I get it then then I expect it. Yeah, after an opening week win, we have lost 3 in a row. Hugh Jackson is Lamar Jackson starting? Oh, baby. They did it. They really did it. They they sacked the flack. Big fourth quarter drive. Hey, look at this. We get the ball, and it's nothing, nothing. Incredible. Looks like a three and out for Baltimore. Either that or a whole bunch of pass attempts. You know what? Since we have this whole drive... I want to see. I know Bryce Love isn't on the field here. It's Duke Johnson this time. Only a yard. I could have had so much more. Let's establish the run. Bryce Love in the backfield. Small gain. Four yards. So we'll be probably having to throw for it here. So many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo. Probably Coleman or Cox out of the backfield. They just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Coleman cuts up field first down. Let's show him a little hurry up. A little hurry up, play action, take him deep. It's a seven yard gain there, and it's good enough to move. What, what in the world's the flag? They go play action here on first down. They'll air this one toward Coleman. And What's the flag about? Incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Offside, defense. offside of the defense. We caught him offside. All right. Well, then we took that free play we shot. We knew that that good reason. Yeah, still first down. It's easy call. We'll just play it off like that. I wasn't gonna throw it deep. I knew I knew it was a free play. I should have ran it. That's a Who is number 99 and why does he have better hands than my receivers? Honestly! I wish my receivers could catch like these linebackers can this year. That wasn't a great read, but still, you tell me a linebacker makes that play? Get out. I don't even know who that guy is. That could be. Thank you. Thank you. Is that financial advisor Carl Nassib? I think it might have been. No, it was Joe Schobert. Second down and seven. Lamar Jackson. I can't adjust the camera. Okay, that's interesting. I have no idea what what we're playing defensively. How did I miss him? I, where did he go? Like, what? What in the world? That is like the, the the weakest cut I've ever seen. And make it third and I was running right at him, and all of a sudden he just... Eh. Third and one, though. Not a first down yet. Bring the pressure. Oh, I nearly got... Oh, the full back dive! Oh, my God. They're taking a page out of my own freaking book. Screw this game today. Oh, my God. Fullback dive. Really? 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 
secondary runner, so for the defense, they're often keying on the running back because he's the guy who gets the ball more often. There we go. I read that pretty well, too, but off the edge. Went backwards regardless. Second and goal from the eight. Uh, I'm using Terrell Suggs. Screen, screen, screen. Whoa! Where in the world was that going? That was bizarre. They're down and goal. Three wide to the left. Willie Sneed to the right. And way overthrown by Lamar. Well, fourth down. We'll hold them to a field goal, but that's not going to mean a damn thing if we can't get in the end zone. Justin Tucker is still here. Kick is good. Three nothing. And the Ravens strike first at three zip. That drive took him inside the ten. Good job defensively to hold. So this offense looking at a second and four. The football inside the red zone. Inside the red zone. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, whoa. Baker's completion percentage on the year has to be some of the worst I've ever seen. Because we don't have an offensive line. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. There we go. First down. That's Darren Fells to the 11 yard line. So Baltimore added on another field goal. They want the game wants me to get David Njoku his hundredth career catch. Well, that's a little bit harder than one may think. There it is, and it is not a touchdown. How in the hell did they keep him out? Holy shit. That momentum was crazy. A yard away from a touchdown. And easy, Corey Coleman. Browns in the end zone. Doesn't happen often. That's how my receivers have looked all the time. Asleep lately. But Corey Coleman and David Njoku making up for a week ago with catches on this drive. And the Browns are an extra point away from leading the game. And they get it. Oh, and look at that. The game spots me one. 14-6. But the defense now needs my help. First down and 10 from the 13-yard line. They got a fullback in the formation with Ricard. Will they run it? Yes. Nothing there, Emmanuel Ogba. We're playing tougher this week. At least with me uh, out here. This looks like a run to the left. And he switches it back to the right. Everybody is fooled. Like, what? 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 Why do they always got to spot them like huge plays, man? Ah. Oh, Michigan ain't losing tonight. And that's thrown away. Field goal upcoming. Lamar Jackson is 9 of 19. Michigan's about to, or uh, Notre Dame's about to meet the Shavier. Shea Patterson. I'm. I hope I. I hope I see a good game out of him. Whole offense would be nice, but flashes of brilliance from Shea Patterson would be fantastic. Oh, he made a bad cut there, and he ends up losing a yard. Second down. 
Our defense is getting pushed around, and I've had to help him out here in this fourth quarter. Lamar with three wide, one tight, one in the back. No. This game is broken. This game is absolutely broken. Take a look at this replay. Unbelievable. Take a look at this replay. Look at this. Look at this and how garbage this is. Look at my corner. Let me switch to the corner. Okay, so caught, right? But because I went aggressive catch and he went the wrong way, or like I, I went play ball and he went to the other side of the receiver instead of trying to cut in towards the ball. Like, I don't know what kind of animation that was. But then look at what happens to him. So the, the pass is complete, right? Like, 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 right? Where is your, where's your, you have no other line of defense here. I don't know what you're doing when you sit there and go, Oh, man, I didn't get the pick. Like, what in the world? Like, I should cut you instantly. Like, he, he honestly should be cut. Honestly. That's ridiculous. Honestly ridiculous. The third down and goal. Come on, boys. Let's get this. And that's a touchdown. Yep. Well, once again, we're giving it up in the fourth. Alex Collins, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Ravens have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they have. Touchdown ends a streak, for lack of a better word, of three field goals that they put on the board. First time Baltimore has gotten in the end zone today. Did they miss the PAT, or did they go for two and not get it? I think they went for two and didn't get it. Well, that helps us out. From the 26, we are in field goal range. I don't trust that this game is gonna gonna let me. Um, uh, 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 oh, you moron! 70 freaking one. My entire offensive line needs rebooting. I'm done with them. I'm done with them. Honestly, any time. Like, I can't use Baker. I can't hit, use his playmaking ability outside the pocket because the offensive line and the tackles have been so bad. But take a look at this. This is John Brown. Got it inside the 10. Didn't need my own line there for very long. John Brown to the 8-yard line. Carlos Hyde is in the game. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a And that's the end zone. How is that not a penalty? Oh, my God. It just shows how difficult it is to pick up on his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers. Kind of had a feeling he was going to drop that, though. He delivers the ball. Mayfield to throw it. Oh, a there as it's intercepted. Ah, yes. Linebackers. linebackers have turned into ball hawking safeties. Ain't no linebacker and making that play. That's ridiculous. First and ten. After the interception, here's Jackson. Where in the hell? Well, there's Lamar Jackson for you. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Here we go now. On second down. No. No. Don't tell me he got the first. He didn't. Okay. It's third and inches. <laughs> so this is a big play right here. Can't be more than a half a foot. So oh boy. I they may pass it. I hope they don't. Come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And no, nothing. And guess what? Everyone everyone falls apart. Well, we need a we need to stop now. One more first down and this game's going to be over. And even still, we're not going to have any time. Sit down. So there we go. So we can stop it on first down and second down, not third. 
advantage of play as they call the timeout. But if they decide to throw it at any point, that could very well get us the game. But they won't do it. Timeout. Third down and eight. Will they throw it here on third down and eight? This looks like a run formation to me. I'm just going to play back, play smart. Just hope for some tackles. Hope for some tackles. We got them. We're going to have about a minute to work with. So this game's not over, and all we need is a field goal. He's been terrific so far. Sam cooked the punt. Snapped at 107 to go. Short punt. Short punt. I tried to fair catch and it wouldn't let me, but Jarvis Landry gets up to the 43-yard line, who wasn't even the returner on the play. So we are nearly in field goal range already. I don't know what the wind is doing. Short completion. Jarvis Landry to midfield. Hurry to the line. And it's caught! It's Lewis! It's Lewis for the touchdown in the final minute! Where did that play come from? The Browns with 36 seconds to go! Ricardo Lewis! They need a touchdown. This one might be just a Field goal no good for Lamar Jackson's Ravens. Look to throw. And he dropped it. The of the field, but it's in That's the running back. Me, I don't know if Schobert really had anything to do with that play, but he's saying he knocked it away. I don't know. Maybe he's just saying it's incomplete. Second and ten. And taken down, that's Miles Garrett. Timeout, Baltimore. Third down and 15. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw. And overthrown. Fourth down. 13 of 28. Neither quarterback passing the ball efficiently here today. Fourth and 15. This is the game. And that's going to be intercepted. That's Jabril Peppers. It is the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. Oh, hours away from Michigan, Notre Dame. Number five gets it done. I'm going to switch his number to number five. I'm going to do it. And that'll do it. 15-20 over the Baltimore Ravens, breaking a three-game losing streak, and that one, that one feels good. That was a frustrating game. Frustrating. It's been a frustrating season. Let's be honest. So for the Browns, they move a step closer to 500 as their record improves to two and three, and they'll get to stay. Four turnovers though. Oh. the New York Jets come to town. That's disgusting. For the Ravens, they drop below 500 to two and three with a loss. Both teams now two and three as the Browns win in Week Six. Hey boys, Jordan here. If you'd like to catch me live on Twitch, you can find me at twitch.tv slash twitchy niche. You can also follow me on Twitter to talk sports, games, and to keep up with me and any channel announcements you may miss. If you enjoyed this Madden NFL 19 video, here's a link to another video I think you'll enjoy. If that's not your taste, I'll let the YouTube algorithm pick one out for you as well. Please consider liking the video and subscribing, and I hope to see you all next time.